in this video of working capital management of the subject corporate financial management unit 5 we will be discussing the various sources of working capital first we have to understand what is the meaning of sources of working capital as you all know the working capital is a capital which we invest in our current assets okay short term duration period for less than a, one year we can say so what is the sources of working capital is to invest in those current assets the investment which we are bringing the funds which we are bringing from where are we bringing those funds is what we call it as a sources of working capital is so here we do have various sources of working capital which you can refer to the textbooks or any other resources which you believe is suitable and understanding for you and easier for you but here i have given the 12 major sources of uh, working capital which you can refer and understand for your examination purpose also so beginning with the public deposit public deposit is one of the major sources of it is a significant source of working capital it is an unsecured loan unsecured loan means that the loan which is not secured in terms of losses or anything for example when you go to a bank and you want to take a loan in a bank obviously you have to give some security against those loan the bank will not welcome you easily and give you the loan, right? Obviously, you have to give some security that may be in the form of gold or uh, documents of your uh, property like that, right? Uh, if you are buying a vehicle and you, are, you want a vehicle loan, you have to pledge your vehicle, right? Like that, uh, some security we have to give when we are taking the loan. But when it comes to a public deposit, it is an unsecured loan. The companies, uh, rep very reputed one companies, they take the deposits from the public. They take deposits from the public for a short period of time. Usually uh, one year, up to one year, a maximum duration could be of up to a three years. It has a high rate of interest. It is very popular in India. It has high rate of interest and it is very popular in india all types of companies widely uses it because it gives many benefits the procedure for taking it is very simple and it is very inexpensive we can say very economical means inexpensive okay a uh, cost free here the company can trade on equity it's when the companies goes on fixed rate of interest instruments, it is using that instrument to increase the wealth of the equity shareholders. That term we call it as a trading on equity. Okay, this when the company goes for a public deposit, obviously it is paying a high rate of interest, a fixed interest to the public for the deposits they have made, right? For that, that means that obviously we have learned it in the unit three calculation of earning per share, and also we have learned it in leverages where we use a fixed deposit a uh, fixed rate in uh, a fixed cost instrument for increasing the earning per share of the company as if of the equity shareholders right so that is what we call it as a trading on equity here the comp capital becomes flexible so on however it is not suitable for all the firms it is only suitable for the reputed ones it is only suitable for the reputed ones the companies which has high reputation in the market which are known to everybody a small newly started startup cannot go for this okay it is difficult we cannot say it uh, cannot go for it but it is difficult to raise the funds from the public because the public will not trust those companies right that's why next bank credit bank credit is also called bank loan it is a well-known source of working capital so obviously that if you are a manufacturer or a trader trader means the one who buys and sells the goods who is not involved in any manufacturing activities we call it as a trade trading company or a trader so if you are a manufacturer or a trader you are we want some funds for your business and you go and approach a bank 
bank okay so bank what the funds the bank issues you okay in it is a secured loan you have to secure some things security okay you have to pledge something or uh, give some documents or something over which uh, the bank gives you a credit or loan that we call it as a bank loan for which you obviously have to pay some interest on the loan. The, the banks which gives you a loan are known as commercial or cooperative banks. And it can be for a short term also and for a long term also. Short term funds, which you can use it for working capital. It is disadvantages like it is somewhat lengthy and time consuming process. Hence, most of the companies prefer a private loans instead of the bank loans they want to avoid any kind of formalities etc so what are the different banks credits we are, can access is that demand loans advanced loans overdraft loans cash credits letter of credits discounting of bills so these are the some of the sources of uh, bank credit next trade, trade credit trade credit is when the dealer purchases goods from the company and sometimes gives an advance payment. Dealer, assume that you are a, a manufacturer of a motorbike. Motorbike, okay? You are a manufacturer of a motorbike. You have a dealer of that motorbike vehicle. So this dealer will help you by giving some sort of advances for your manufacturing of those motorbike for which you may give some interest also uh, since the person has given you some advance payments some lower so low sort of uh, low amount of interest okay uh, which from which he also gets some benefit it is for around 60 to 90 days it is for around 60 to 90 days usually these dealers would give this type of advances to all companies especially to those companies which have monopoly in the markets okay it is given for the consumer durable goods like scooters motorbikes cars televisions refrigerators etc next advances from the customers Sometimes customers also makes an advance payment to the company. The company uses this money paid in advances as a working capital. Hence, the advance from customers is a source of working capital for it. For example, luxury automobile manufacturer gets an advance from customers who have booked a car. Okay, a manufacturer, automobile manufacturer may get an advance from a customer who have booked a car that is advance from customers. <clears throat> Nowadays, it is somewhat difficult to get the advances from the customers because of various number of companies available in the market. That is because of rising competition in the market. Uh, customers may not stick into one company. They prefer multiple companies. If you, if you are not there to uh, get me the available goods immediately, uh, I will buy it from somewhere else. That's it. No, so uh, that is what happens nowadays because of that. Uh, advances from customers is something uh, not available immediately whenever we need it. In income from sale. Income from sale. The company sells its goods and earn incomes. That is through revenue. Uh, you have some goods worth of one lakh rupee finished goods. Okay, you need uh, working capital now. Obviously, you will sell this. You will sell these goods and get that one lakh rupee, invest again, produce and sell again. This is what income from the sales. The income which you get in the form of revenue, you are investing it again, producing it, producing, manufacturing, trading or whatever you are doing. That is, you are using it as a working capital for your business. Next, self-financing. Self-financing is the investment from your own pocket. Okay, That could be when, you are, when we are speaking about the company company doesn't have a pocket right it has retained earnings the profits which the company has not distributed among the shareholders that profit can be saved saved in the form of our earn, retained earnings for, and used for the working capital 
okay so the company uses own savings as working at capital such behavior is called as self financing or bluffing back of profits self financing is very economical because there is no need to pay any interest here there is no need to pay any interest that is one benefit next issue of shares here we are speaking about the issue of equity shares as all of you know that equity share is something where the shareholders is bearing the risk right here when we we as a company going for a equity share capital usually it is uh, for a long term purpose but even we can go for a short term uh, working capital purpose also since there is no interest payment on it the company need not to pay the amount if the company is going in loss as though investors are bearing the risk of loss in this next cash credit <coughs> cash credit is also an important source of working capital it is a secured loan it is similar to overdraft you know overdraft that is provided on your debit card uh, sb account in your bank by your bank uh, that is overdraft is where you can withdraw amount exceeding to the amount saved in your uh, bank account if you have a bank account where uh, the, the, you have opted for a overdraft of 10000 rupees okay assume that you went to a shop and you bought a 15000 rupees of mobile phone when you checked in your bank account you have only 5000 rupees cash balance available now you still need 10000 rupees to buy that mobile phone how would you buy? You can take a facility of overdraft where you will be given a chance to use 10,000 rupees, which is excess of your deposit amount. Okay, that is 10,000 rupees. You can buy it. Obviously, you have to pay some interest for the duration of time which you have used that amount, right? In this, that is what we call it as a cash credit that a bank charges interest for that withdrawn amount okay if you have withdrawn all the 10000 for that or out of this 10000 you have withdrawn only 2000 rupees for 2000 rupees you have to pay the interest that may be in the form of overdraft of debit card or credit cards which we use anything or current account uh, may if you are withdrawing excess amount that all things we can use, uh, we can consider it as a cash credit. Next, discounting of bills. Discounting of bills is another important source of working capital. Some company sells goods on credit. It gets bills receivable from the data. Bank discount these bills here. It is not necessary to wait for the maturity of the bills. So the company receives money very quickly from the bank. The money is also a working capital. How it works, I will show you here. See, this is what we call it as a discounting of bills. What is happening here? Assume you are a seller. You are a seller of mobile phones. Okay, you are a seller of the mobile phones. There is a buyer, there is a buyer who needs the mobile phones to sell it for the karke. We will assume he is a trader. He is a trader. He, he is buying from you and he wants to sell it further to the end customer. Now, thing is that he doesn't have sufficient funds to pay you back, or he doesn't have funds at all. Maybe he is not having proper working capital in his company. Okay. But if he doesn't pay you the amount after you sold the goods, you will be lacking with the working capital. Right. It is like insufficient working capital in your business. So what happens here is that we can, you, you can opt for discounting of bills. How? How you the person, the buyer who had to pay you the amount is unable to pay. So what will you do is that there will be a bank or any other financial corporation. Here there is an example of Hero Financial Corporation or any other institution, financial institution who provides a facility of discounting of bills. 
you as a seller can submit a copy of invoice invoice invoices the invoice which you would have given to this buyer if in case the person had paid the full amount to you but the amount has not yet been received by you so you will not give the invoice to this person you will give that invoice to the financial institution or a bank any any obviously bank is a financial institution only so here any financial institution or a bank or something third party you will submit the copy of that invoice okay and this financial institution will give you the money okay oh, how much ever okay you got the money now what happens these people will receive the money on the some maturity date okay at some amount assume will assume that what happens here what is the benefit okay we will be thinking now see assume that this person has sold goods of 1 lakh rupee 1 lakh rupee to the buyer you have sold goods of 1 lakh rupee to the buyer now the buyer has to give you 1 lakh rupee right 1 lakh rupee but he said no no i will not pay you today i don't have money i will pay you after 60 days i will pay you after 60 days so now <clears throat> you need the money urgently what you will do you will give the invoices to the financial corporation and you will get the amount at a discount rate of around 3% karke we'll think 3% 3% charges of this 1 lakh rupee bill okay that is 3 lakh uh, 1 lakh ka 3% is Three thousand rupees. So this company will give you ninety-seven thousand rupees immediately, but this company will receive from the buyer one lakh rupee only, total one lakh rupee only, after sixty days on the maturity date, or we call it as payment expiry date. Okay. so he, the company is receiving 1 lakh but this company is paying you 97000 3% which you think you are considering it as a loss is a commission for the company but actually in fact it may seems like 3% of loss but you are using this amount for manufacturing of goods immediately and uh, selling further right so since you are getting the funds immediately this is not a loss and another most important thing is that after 60 days if this person doesn't pay you the loss is bared by this company not by you so that is one of the major advantage of discounting of bills okay next packing credit packing credit is a loan facility given to the exporters by the commercial banks this is happening in a transaction of importing and exporting of goods import export of goods happens in a cross border transactions cross border means when a goods is being sold from one country to another country sold or bought okay from one uh, uh, tra transferred from one country to another country that is where import export happens during this time okay if there is no funds available with the importer if there is no funds available with the importer to pay to the exporter that time a letter of credit can be submitted packing credit is a pre shipment finance which will be paid based on the letter of credit this money can be used as a working capital here i will show you the basic letter of credit transaction what happens see here there is an applicant applicant okay applicant is an importer of the goods importer of the goods 
there is a beneficiary who is an exporter of the goods exporter of the goods assume you are in india you are in india there is one exporter in america usa okay he is sending you some goods to india you are buying from him okay so now what is happening between you both a sale contract right you are buying from him he is selling you a sale contract is taking place between you both but as of now you don't have sufficient funds to pay to the beneficiary to the seller of the goods exporter also we can say what you do is that you will apply for a letter of credit assume there is a letter of there is a sbi bank in which you have a bank account you will ask your bank to issue a letter of credit on behalf of you okay the bank will trust you so much because you are a customer of that bank since many years or you have maintained a good reputation your sales score is good the bank trust you okay based on that sale contract this bank issuing bank will issue a letter of credit to the advising bank advising bank is relating to this person this person has a account in we we'll see hd hsbc bank hsbc bank okay this person has a account in hsbc bank hsbc is a foreign bank so now the sbi bank is an issuing bank of applicant okay advising bank is hsbc bank of beneficiary exporter so now issuing bank is sending a issuing a letter of credit to the advising bank now this advising bank sends a letter of advising to uh, advising letter of credit to the beneficiary okay after that this person will ship do the shipment shipment of goods what actually had to be sold sent to the importer once shipment is done he has to present all the documents to the advising bank here sixth point presentation of all the document to the advising bank this advising bank later present all this document to the issuing bank okay this issuing bank releases the documents when this person pay off the amount to the beneficiary till then the issuing bank will hold these documents this we call it as a basic letter of credit transaction why it is what is happening here the issuing bank is giving a guarantee to the beneficiary that this person will pay out the amount without holding it okay on time he will pay karke some guarantee is giving like if you are taking a loan you may ask a teacher that ma'am give me a guarantee that uh, i will pay off the loan after one month in a bank i need a cent amount for paying my examination fee okay i may tell the banker that okay give a loan to that person i know that student karke that is we call it as a, a letter of credit guarantee providing guarantee okay so this is about the letter of credit if there is a letter of credit a uh, pre shipment finance will be given that finance is we call it as a packing credit next commercial paper commercial paper is a short term promissory note it is unsecured promissory note is a form where it is like a promise that i will pay this much of amount on this on the specific date on this this conditions karke kuch some promises made on an on a paper okay that we call it as a promissory note since it is for a short term commercial paper is a short term promissory note note it is unsecured there is no security against the loan okay only well established companies can issue it 
only reputed some well established companies which have good uh, goodwill profits etc that kind of companies can issue it banks and financial institution purchases it who purchases it banks and the financial institutions purchases it it is purchased at a discount the discount is just like interest the bank provide short term finance to established companies in exchange for commercial paper paper it is given for a short period of 90 to 180 days what happens commercial paper assume that the infosys company is issuing a commercial paper of 100 rupees each with a face value of 100 rupees each okay banks or any other financial institutions will buy it at 90 rupees for 90 days okay for 90 days so now they are buying it for 90 rupees but when they have to receive the amount after 90 days they will receive the full amount 100 rupees that is what happens in a commercial paper depending on the number of days okay how how it is helping the company it is helping for by giving the funds immediately for 90 to 180 days for a short term period which the company has to return back after the maturity period right full amount the company has to pay next issue of debentures the company issues different types of debentures to get debenture capital the company uses debenture capital as a working capital so the issue of debenture is a significant source of working capital for a short term purpose when a company is issuing the debentures it becomes a working capital source right in india debentures are very popular and we call it as a cheapest source of funds also it receives a good response from the public therefore most companies use debenture capital as working capital however debenture capital is borrowed capital therefore the company has to repay it at highest rate of interest the company has to repay the amount at a higher rate of interest these are some of the sources of working capital which we have discussed in this video